So my interest uh, in consciousness started uh, at the university. I found out that it is possible to objectively and scientifically study consciousness, not only consciousness itself from a philosophical and psychological point of view, but also from a neuroscientific point of view. And it is very, very interesting and fascinating today. If you stay here, it's... What we are doing here is uh, to study uh, psychophysiology of uh, the Nidra Yoga. During a retreat uh, on uh, this uh, six st student of Nidra Yoga, which have a lot of experience, of years of experience in this technique, and we measure their uh, brain activity, basically, uh, the electrical activity of the cerebral cortex. This is uh, at the first research in uh, at the regarding the neurophysiological uh, basis of Nidra. As a psychologist, uh, the final uh, objective of this research, but also of, the, of, the, of my research group at the University of Pisa, uh, led by Professor Gemignani, is the application in a clinical context of uh, these techniques. So we, we try to integrate uh, uh, the subjective level using psychometric questionnaires, in particular retrospective questionnaires regarding the state of consciousness, but also uh, the EEG analysis. There are uh, many conditions like psychosis, schizophrenia, um, or um, other, um, other kind of clinical condition in which the people hasn't the insight of uh, his uh, illness. Uh, they uh, don't know that are uh, uh, schizophrenia, that are uh, psychosis. And the meditation uh, can act on uh, the same network, cerebral network of insight and can improve this network and, we, and so improve the insight of illness. And, um... I study the, mainly the neural correlates of consciousness. So the neural correlates of meditation is uh, for us very important because uh, the study of it uh, can shed light on uh, the neurophysiological mechanism behind meditation. So in other words, why meditation works, why it has uh, uh, beneficial healing effects. Uh, this is the first uh, subject, subject one. This is basically one of your brain. Uh, in this line, you can see your brain before the Nidra session. So it was before and after the, the day. And uh, so this line is the post condition of the Nidra. And uh, the last line is, is the difference, is the difference. With the mathematical difference between the signal in the brain here minus the signal in the brain here. I think that there are uh, states of consciousness that are uh, basically healing. So if we find out how can we induce these states of consciousness into patients, they can explore themselves, can find uh, in their self um, answers to their problems, for example, and to um, apply Nidra states of consciousness, for example, to e a psychotherapy, for me it will be very useful. But first of all, we need to discover, uh, to explore and discover why Nidra can work at the, for example, at the neurophysiological level.